I absolutely knew nothing about dementia, Alzheimer's, anything. It had never touched me, it never crossed my path. My mum was diagnosed with dementia 14 years ago. She passed away not that long ago. Um, the illness obviously took its hold. When we started to notice mum's changes or the, in her behaviour, we had still had no idea what that was all about. I put it down to menopause, I thought mum was just in a foul mood, you know, no idea until um, she was finally diagnosed. Um, and it was probably the most devastating day for her and for the entire family. Watching her decline was probably the hardest thing. You lose them twice with, with Alzheimer's. You lose them that first time when they don't recognise you and then you lose them physically. Um, we were all committed to making sure mum had a dignified life and that she was still very much a part of our lives. So we made sure family, friends were always around her and I think because of that, she, she lived as, as rich a life as she could with that illness. It means about accepting people that have the illness, making them feel that they're included, helping them uh, hold on to their dignity, not judging them, not judging the carers, being able to put your hand forward and, and help them along their way. Um, not shying away from it, accepting that, that it's, a, it's part of their lives and it's part of the family's life. Um, I think it's really important for those living with the illness that they feel that they're, they're a sense of inclusion and that we respect them as people, um, that they're still there and that they deserve our respect. <laughs>